Hi guys, Søren from Rotrex here. Today we're doing an unboxing and installation of the new Rotrex Supercharger Bracket Kit for the LS truck. So, the kit comes in two boxes. First and small one, that's the supercharger head unit. And the big box is the bracket and accessories. So, um, let's get to it, get them open and see what's inside. So, the first thing you'll find in the box is a complete manual that will show you step by step on how to install the kit. There's also um, some cool QR codes that will link you directly to ATI and all the other uh, guides to show you how to install all the other necessary parts. First in the kit is bolts. They are all come in individually packed bags with a number on it. We have oil hoses for the lubrication circuit and then the remaining of the lubrication circuit is here, which is the canister, the oil filter, and then brackets for the canister and the primer bolt. First part of the kit comes out of the box. That's the crank pulley. It's a 10 rep pulley from Billet Aluminium. It's anodized black, and then it has engravings to show you the diameter and um, also which ATI damper it fits. Besides is the belt tensioner. It's an OEM type tensioner with a custom wheel on it to support the wider belt from the 10 ribs. For this kit, we chose the Gate Fleet Runner belt, which is a heavy duty belt, 10 ribs, very doable. We have one liter of traction fluid. And to fill that up, we included a small one-piece, a one-time use uh, oil funnel. So, first bracket in the box is the cylinder head mount top. We have more brackets. All the brackets are made in billet and aluminium with an anodized nature finish. With more brackets. More brackets. And then we have idler pulleys. There are two types of them. This one is a uh, ripped one with 10 rips. It's also showing uh, the diameter, which is 75 mil on this one. What's cool about these is uh, it uses a dual bearing. So it's very robust and durable for long time use. The other idler has the same diameter, but it has a smooth surface. And so the remaining pulley is for the supercharger. As default, the kit comes with a 90 mil pulley. We have a small spacer for the belt tensioner. The last piece, that's the front bracket that holds the supercharger. It also has engravings, logos, but also A, B, C, and D. And these we'll get to later in the installation manual. Almost forgot, small spacer. All right, well, um, let's get the box away and open the supercharger. In the supercharger box, you'll find the setup and maintenance manual. Careful not to drop it. Uh, here we have it. This is the all new Rotrex C38R122, which we specifically developed for the V8s and can support up to 1200 horsepower. So um, pretty cool unit. In your supercharger box, you also find bolts for the pulley and also banjo fittings for the supercharger. So there you have it, the whole complete tuna kit for the LS truck. All right, we are over at the motor now. First step, second step, that's removing the original crank pulley and installing the ATI super damper. In this video, we're not gonna show you how to install the ATI damper. Instead, we have a QR code in the manual that will link you to their website with a full manual. When you install the ATI damper, it will come with three bolts. Just put them in loosely because we'll remove them afterwards. Step three, that's um, putting some pins in the crank pulley. We cheated a bit and already installed two of them, but it's very simple. It's a hollow dowel. You can take a plier. Put it right there. Gently tap it in. There you go. 
Step three of two. First off, we will remove the three bolts that's in the ATI damper. You can just put these away as we don't need them. Now, take the crank pulley with the three pins fitted and align the pins with the slotted holes in the ATI damper. And now you can gently push it in by hand. That will align the whole crank pulley and make sure it aligns perfectly. We can now apply Loctite to the bolts. And then reuse the original holes to install the bolts. Okay, finally, we're going to torque them down to 15 Newton meters. All right, step four is removing the bolt at the AC tensioner. You can just throw away this bolt as we don't need it anymore. Step five is the sub-assembly of the bracket. We've got the cylinder head mount and a cross brace bracket. First off, always apply some Loctite. Just put the bolts in loosely as they don't need to be tightened yet. Step six is also the sub assembly, this time the cross brace here. But first off, we're gonna apply some Loctite to the bolts. Firstly, I'm just putting all the bolts in by hand, and then we can start to tighten it all up. Okay, now it's time to token down the, all the bolts to 15 Newton meters. Step seven is mounting the sub-assembly to the cylinder head. Let's go ahead. Again, we're gonna need some Loctite on the bolts to make sure it sits correctly. You can start by taking the lower bolt here. Don't tighten them all before all bolts in. The last bolt is kind of tricky. That's the hex bolt and that's because we have limited space. So, of course, we have to torque them all down. Like the other bolts, 15 Newton meters. Step eight is mounting the cross brace to the front bracket. 
First, again, like always, we're gonna add some Loctite to the bolts. Make sure to put it correctly. And we're going to torque them down 15 newton meters again. Step nine is fitting the front bracket to the motor. Let's put some Loctite on the bolts. There's six of them this time. So, you got three, you got a lot of holes, but these three you can align. Here you go, front, like that. Final one goes in the back, sits here. Of course, we're gonna torque all the bolts down to 15 newton meters. Step 10 is the spacer in the bottom here. Again, apply some Loctite to the bolt. Slide in the bracket and install the bolt. It's now time to install the belt tensioner and to do so we need to make sure that it's sitting in the correct position. So in the manual, page 19, we got this chart where we can see the supercharger pulley size. For this kit we're doing the 90 mil. That means the tensioner has to be in position E. The spacer for the tensioner has lines on it and they will only go in one way. Now it's aligned at E. If you want it differently, you just rotate it. It's gonna be F. Rotate it again, it's gonna be G. But this one is the E. So we're gonna apply the Loctite just a tiny bit. Have it in the belt tensioner. Make sure we align with E. Some of these positions may cause the tensioner to be very close to the crank pulley. Just make sure you don't bang them together. Next step is installing the uh, pulley idlers. And again, we're following the chart of the 90 mil pulley for the supercharger. And we can see the ripped idler needs to be in position A and the smooth has to be in position D. We're installing Loctite to the bolts. There we go. One thing to note, when you pick up the pulleys, the center shaft can sit loosely, so just make sure it doesn't fall out. On the front bracket, you can see the letters, and this being the rip pulley, has to be an A. And for the smooth pulley, we're gonna put it in D. This combination will allow you to change the position of the idlers and the tensioner to change the supercharger pulley without needing a new belt. One belt fits all. All right, now it's time to install the supercharger itself. First of all, you have to make sure the clogging is done the way you want it. It can rotate 
60 degrees all the way around. To clock it correctly, please follow the uh, video that we have on our website for that as well. First off, we're just gonna remove the four bracket bolts. They just sit in loosely. Put them where you can reach them. Remove the yellow plugs. Make sure you don't get debris into the old channels. All right. Now you can slide in the unit. Like so. And use the bolts. Lastly, of course, we have to torque the bolts. We made it to step 13, which is installing the supercharger pulley. First off, we're gonna need all the pulley bolts out of the back. And we'll just grab the pulley wheel slide it on carefully and make it align with all the six bolt holes, like so. For now, we're just gonna hand tighten these six bolts, making sure the pulleys sit it's nice and flush with the supercharger, but we don't have to torque it down yet. All right, now it's time to put on the belt. So, just over the supercharger and under the idlers. We can align on the crank pulley. Hold it down, use the socket. There we go. Final step of this bracket kit installation is torquing up the six bolts on the supercharger, 10 Newton meters. And there we have it, one installed bracket kit.